Hello, everyone. My name is Jacob O'Donnell. I'm the Club Outreach Promotion Coordinator for academic year 2021 to 2022. And uh, yeah, welcome to um, Club Activities eMarket 101. Um, in my opinion, um, the Club Activities eMarket is one of the best features available on WIN. In this presentation, you'll discover what the eMarket is, what it's good for, and how it works, and how to get your club or organization's merchandise on it. So what is the Club Activities eMarket? The Club Activities eMarket is a place to sell merchandise, collect membership dues, and collect contributions, aka gratuitous gifts to your club or organization. Uh, let me show you some examples. All right. All right, so first, let's look at the WW um, Makerspace Club for um, a merchandise example. As you can see, they've got this cool um, make it yourself bunny, kind of like build a bear, only it's build a bunny. Um, and um, they've got a picture that really helps with marketing, and they've got um, a sort of a um, description of basically what what you get with the, the whole thing. And um, also they've got a, a maximum stock as well. And yeah, so basically this is just a really, really awesome uh, example because it contains all the elements that really um, help just kind of sell the piece and, and um, make sure that the customer makes the customer as interested as possible. And I highly recommend that you include all these details um, when you submit an e-market request. Um, more on e-market requests later. All right. So an example of, of a club that uses their um, e-market site to collect uh, dues is Alpha Kappa Psi. Um, as you can um, tell here, they've got um, just clearly marked uh, club club um, membership dues and fees, and you just add it to cart like you would any uh, product. And what's nice about what they have here is that they um, make the uh, product description really clear because um, as because they have several uh, different basically items. And then a uh, example of a club that uses the club e-market to um, collect basically uh, contributions is the Oceanic Student Association. Um, basically, it isn't a specified amount um, of money that a customer needs to enter here, um, but any amount they want to give uh, they just enter and it will go directly into the uh, club's account. And that's one of the greatest things about the club e-market. Everything goes right into your club account. You don't have to mess around with Venmo and PayPal and then go to the finance office to deposit the money into your account. It's automatic this way. So the advantages of the e-market are numerous. Uh, the main one is that everyone uses the internet for one reason or another. So it expands the reach of your club's products. It also doesn't have a time constraint, uh, unlike say having a table at vendor's row. Customers can make a purchase at any time of day, anywhere. The e-market is especially advantageous during hundred year pandemics like COVID-19. It enables social distancing without sacrificing fundraising opportunities. When and if COVID-19 is completely under control, the e-market will still be useful for social distancing in the next pandemic. Although it's tough to say whether the internet will be uh, antique by the time the next bug brings everything to a screeching halt a century from now. If so, I called it, remember that. Anyway, the e-market also provides clubs with one big stream of funding rather than a separate stream of merchandise a separate stream of funding for merchandise, a separate stream for membership dues, and another stream for other club fees and still another for contributions. So any club organization can use the club e-market for the purposes I've described. And by the way, if 
you have a creative new use for the e-market, uh, feel free to pitch them to the Club Hub. It's a fairly new feature and it's undergoing constant improvement. So suggestions are very much welcome. Um, all you need in order to use the e-market is to have a club organization account through the associated students and the three digit ASB code that goes along with it. You get that when you register your uh, club with the Club Hub. Uh, also, anyone can make purchases on the club activities e-market, whether they're students or not. That's one of the beauties of this tool is that alumni, students, families, and anyone else can support clubs in making purchases or providing contributions. All right, so the way you get to the Cloud Activities eMarket is through the campus links on the homepage of WIN, which I will go to right now. All right, so here's the um, homepage of, of WIN. And you basically scroll down, um, and on the um, the bottom right hand corner, there's campus links, and you just sc uh, scroll down in the campus links until you find the club eMarket site link, and bingo! All right. Um, yeah, I highly recommend that you um, basically tell your fellow club members and um, anyone else who might be interested of uh, how to get there um, so that more people can be on the e-market and it can be an even more vibrant marketplace and and um, yeah just be a boon for commerce campus commerce that we all know it can be all right so the way you register for putting your clubs on the e-market is to fill out a publicity center request form so you can design and make your item so that they can design and make your item, uh, whether that item is t-shirts, stickers, water bottles, or whatever other branded item you could think of selling. Um, there are two ways to get the publicity sent get to the publicity center request form. Uh, one way is through the publicity center website here. And you go to request our services today, and it links you right to um, the PC request. And you can also find it on the forms uh, tab in Win. Um, you have to sign in first. That's the, with your student credentials, though. All right. So let's say that I'm making um, a PC request for um, my hypothetical club that I also have in my promotion. Um, in outreach tips video, um, Bella Dynasty. Um, what type of organization are you? Um, I, in my case, it's AS Club, but um, you just see what what applies to you. Um, for AS Clubs, it's a simple print job. In my case, yes, I just want a simple print job. Um, if you want something a little bit more complicated, like a, a t-shirt, water bottle, stickers, those are more specialized, so then you would put no. Um, are there co-sponsors for your event? Um, no. Um, basically, a co-sponsor, an example of a co-sponsor would would be like if if the um, if your club was partnering with another one, or if you were partnering partnering with a uh, campus organizations such as, say, the Outdoor Center or um, maybe doing something collaborative with the Club Hub. Not sure what that would look like, um, but I highly recommend you um, check it out sometime. All right, primary contacts, you know, fill, fill that out. Um, Yes, that calls for. There we go. And do you have a secondary contact? No, not in my case. Um, sometimes um, several people work on the same project together in the same club. Um, oh, <laughs> apparently it's not going to uh, accept that. So, there we go. Um, Organization budget code. I'm going to use Bella's birthday, uh, April 24th. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, FX Club. Um, yeah, you just ask the, um, you, you basically ask the Club Hub for, for this. And there's also a way on when to find it 
Um, Bella's birthday will be the ASB. That's that's the budget number. Expenditure request number. Um, so yeah, so basically the expenditure request is uh, how you draw on club funds in order to pay the PC or, uh, center for their time and for the materials. And in this case, I have not su submitted one because this is a hypothetical um, project. So I'm just going to put in dash A and see if it lets me submit it. There we go. OK, so project title. Um, my hypothetical project is Bellagrams. And I'll explain that further in a second. Um, project due date, let's just say it's it's um, Christmas Eve, although they won't be open at that time. Um, products requested, um, yeah, just basically, I'm, I'm just going to say brochures. Um, is this request for a publicity associated with an event? Nope, just e-market stuff. I'm going to say, yeah, let's just put what I did there was just put in uh, the quantity that I want. And then a, a description, um, basically just tell them what you want made or what you have um, uploaded as a kind of prototype, whether it's a sketch or as a um, as a rough draft of a graphic that they will basically clean up and make sure that it uh, matches um, AS uh, guidelines and uh, basically finalize so that you can put it on your products. So I'm just going to say that that my hypothetical pro product is um, a picture of Ella, who, by the way, is my family's golden retriever. She's super adorable. With a yeah and then once you have that then you click next and say that you um agree to these terms and then you basically submit it after that and then um all right so once you've filled out the uh piece the pc request um you basically then fill out the e-market registration form in win. So for this one, you also need to be uh, signed in. And it's under the, the forms tab and win. And for mine, it's it's uh, up in up in here, but you can also search for it in available forms. New submission. Okay. Yeah, so um, as you can see, there are a lot of um, starts out with a lot of instructions. I encourage you to read them before you fill the, out the form yourself, but I'll just go step by step here. All right, so next, and then basically say that you agree to these, have read and agreed to these steps. Yeah, so first you need the, the name of the club. Um, my hypothetical club is Bella Dynasty again. Um, and then here it already has FX Club uh, filled in. So I just need to put in your ASB 424. Um, and the ASB is important because it tells the business office um, where the money um, should go when people make purchases on your um, e market site. Project contact. In this case, me. Um, secondary contact in slash A. And when did you submit your form? 11 28 2021. Yeah, so basically, you just do um, the date when you submitted your uh, re uh, request form. All right, and then in my case, it's a it's a printed good, um, but just check which one, whichever one applies to the project that you want. Basically, 
the product that you basically want on the eMarket site. And item being sold, you put in the name, description, and price. So again, Bellagrams um, description. Photograph and price maybe five dollars each, and then here um, will the item be made to order? Um, so in in my case, it would be the easiest to have um, a bunch of items already in stock, and um, in anticipation of people buying them. But sometimes for certain products, um, you make them as you as they come in um, and it just is up to you and what your um, preferences are and what you th think is the best instinct and also the AS Club Hub can give you some advice on it if you're unsure. All right. Quantity of items available 500 because I asked the publicity center for 500 of them. Upload a picture. Um, again, it's not required to upload a picture, but it's uh, great for marketing. Um, do you have more printed goods to add to the e-market? Nope. Then you, um, after this, you submit it on the next page and then you're off to the races. Um, so once you've submitted um, the e-market registration form. You wait for the Clubhouse staff to review your request and approve it. And then um, we may reach out to you um, and ask clarifying questions uh, via email, um, just to make sure that all your ducks are in a row um, before we um, send a request off to the uh, student business office. And um, once the student business office has, has approved it, um, or uh, asked questions, um, we'll notify you by by email, and you will um, be notified when um, the items are up on the on the site. Great. So once your item is on the site and people start making purchases. You'll start receiving weekly report reports in the form of spreadsheets from Club Hub staff. The spreadsheets have the customer's contact information on them so you can get in touch to distribute the item. And they have information about the quantity of and types of items they purchased. Uh, the spreadsheets also have information about revenue so you know how much money is flowing into your student account through sales. These reports go to finance officers in each club that makes sales, and clubs and organizations should make sure that their officer positions are updated and win. If there is no finance officer or lead officer, the reports are sent to the club's general email address, which again, the club should update and win whenever it changes. Um, so basically, it's important that these reports get to the um, correct people and that they go to a place where they will actually be seen, because like I um, just described, there's a lot of great, inf great and very important information on them. All right. And then once you have items on the e-market and you want them removed, there are a couple ways to do that. Um, one is to just nip in the bud at the beginning and specify an end date on your original e-market registration form for the items in the items being sold text box. Um, for for instance, if it's a tickets for um, for a con upcoming concert that your club is putting on, there's obviously going to be an uh, an end date once the concert is over, um, where people can't buy tickets anymore. And we can just go ahead and put that in, work that into the eMarket system so that it just automatically takes it off. Um, or if it's a more long term item. Um, you can fill out another eMarket registration form later and just say this is to remove such and such item um, by such and such date. And then we can just go ahead and have the student business office uh, remove it manually. All right. So 
Last but not least, clubs and organizations need to have a plan for how to get the, the merchandise to their customers. Some clubs do this by setting up a table on Vendors Row or Red Square and have a distribution day where the customers can come by and pick up the merchandise. Um, the information in the weekly reports is very useful for getting the word out to people who made merch made purchases. Uh, again, it has uh, the customer's contact information on it. Um, if the customer is further away, clubs can mail or ship the item depending on what it is. Um, that's why the e-market reports include the customer's address. And if clubs and organizations wish to distribute the items this way, they should figure in the cost of doing so into their prices. My hope is that someday we'll have something worked out with the campus post office so we can establish rates that will be readily available for clubs that want to mail and ship their items. But for now, this is how it works. And like I said earlier, if you have any suggestions about how to make this easier and more streamlined, let the Club Hub staff know. The e-market, just like Win itself, is your resource. The idea, the ideas can, the ideas that you provide can play an instrumental role in helping these resources grow and improve. So please don't hesitate to share them. Right. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to receiving your e-market requests. And look forward to um, to all of you clubs and organizations out there um, profiting um, off of this awesome uh, resource that that has been put together for you. And yeah, um, have a great rest of your time on this um, path. And um, thank you for so much for taking the time to do this whole thing.